Hi, I'm Clint Walker from Falcor Defense. Uh, today we're going to be talking about making the gas adjustment for your uh, rifle and the Petra and in our Alpha DMR our 30 uh, cal series, the 308 series, all of them have an adjustable gas uh, key on them. Um, let's talk about a couple things with an, an adjustment. Basically what we're trying to do is um, dial down the amount of gas or force that's uh, driving the carrier back um, or increase the um, uh, force. The reason that we don't like to make that up at the gas block, uh, which is fairly common, is because on your 30 cal variant, especially in the 300 wind mag, you have uh, a lot of hot carbon, uh, unspent fuel going up into that system and they tend to carbon lock. Uh, the most reliable way to make that um, adjustment is right here in this gas key and that's why we do it on the gas key itself. It's very simple. Um, you're going to take a, a standard Allen wrench and in the back of the key here you'll see um, basically an Allen head uh, screw and this can be adjusted uh, up or down um, depending on um, what you're uh, what you're shooting. When you get it, you get your rifle, generally it's wide open. If you're running suppressed you have to make a, a gas adjustment. Um, I've seen industry professionals actually take and suppress a 308 and make no gas adjustment, shear their uh, bolt catch uh, completely off and wonder why it happened. Um, again, now all that gas that was driving back is, is actually not escaping the, the, uh, anymore. It's driving right back into the key. So we definitely want to make that um, something that we do as a standard practice. When we're suppressing a rifle, you have to make a gas adjustment. On your 223, um, really a lot of the AR-15 variants, even if it's 300 uh, blackout, you don't have to make a, a gas adjustment. You can simply just add a heavier buffer and, and usually that takes care of the problem. So we're talking about 308 and 300 wind mag as it relates to Falcor today. And I'm going to show you some tips here uh, to make that easier as well. So with the gas ki uh, bolt carrier out, um, we'll go ahead and, and uh, reinstall it here. This is going to be a little messy. My, my hands are going to get a little greasy. So I inserted the carrier back in, my takedown pin back in place. Open up the bolt. Okay, ideally here guys, let's, let's talk about what we're looking for, okay? Uh, when, I, when I close the um, carrier here, send the bolt home, I have a round in place. The first thing that we want to do if we want to save rounds, we want to make sure that that carrier is locking back on the bolt face. And the easiest way to do that, if you have a Falcor rifle, of course you have the ambi controls, you're going to depress your, um, your bolt catch when you shoot your first round. And if it catches back, then you know that you have enough gas, okay? Then we're gonna inspect the brass to see what's happening, and we're also gonna check to see how it feeds the subsequent rounds. So the first thing we wanna do is see if we have enough gas, okay? We've dialed it down, and now all we're trying to do is find that sweet spot as we back it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and shoot. Uh, you know, I'll shoot left-handed here. Um, just so I can show you on this side, we're going to have depressed this uh, here and on hot. Okay, now if we look inside here, that actually caught on the face of the uh, bolt. Okay, it's caught right up in there, so we actually have enough gas right now. Okay. Now what we want to do is check and make sure it's feeding properly. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, send that bolt home again. And I'm going to shoot a couple of rounds. Going hot. Okay, one thing I'm noting is, as my rounds are, are uh, coming out, they're ejecting generally in the same uh, position. A lot of times on, on your uh, rifle, you'll find that you could have an ununiform pattern whereby uh, the brass that's feeding from the left side of the magazine is ejecting at one angle and the brass that's 
uh, ejecting from uh, the other side of the mag might be at a slightly different angle, but generally it's going to be uniform. The next thing we want to do is inspect that brass. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clear and safe this, this uh, rifle, and then we're going to look at this brass a little closer. Let's take a look at this. Uh, guys, your, your brass will tell you everything about your rifle um, that you need to know. Okay. Um, first of all, the reason it's hot when it's coming out is because of the speed at which it's ejecting. If you um, don't eject around, a lot of times you just pull it out slow, you notice the brass is actually fairly cool. Um, on the brass, we're looking for a couple things. We don't have any rings uh, here on the brass, looks very clean. And we're also looking to see that this is nice and uniform. Check your primer. Um, if you see a, uh, a ridge, a, a very pronounced ridge around uh, the primer, a lot of times that's cratering. That could uh, be a significant uh, sign of um, high pressure. Um, the plunger swipe is very common on a uh, 308 or uh, particularly a 300 wind mag, but you don't want it to have deformed the brass in any way. So we're going to check for this uh, lip here and make sure that it's linear all the way around, which, uh, which it is. I see a slight plunger swipe. What I might do is dial it down just a touch. Right now it's functioning well. We're going to go ahead and replicate some, um, some malfunctions to show you what to look for and how to address that as well. So we'll do that next. Okay, so let's show you what, uh, what these rounds are going to look like. The first few rounds that you shoot, because what we really want you to do, if you're going to run a suppressor, I want you to dial that gas, shut it completely off, and then open it up no more than half a turn, okay? Um, generally speaking, you're going to find that that's going to be a sweet spot for you. It's a good starting point. Okay, so right now I've shut that gas off and I've dialed it back slightly. We will likely see a uh, short stroke uh, malfunction. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, close the bolt. Okay, going hot. Okay. I see that I had an eject, but if you look right in here, you'll see that that carrier only came about uh, halfway back. So what's happened here is it has ejected the round, but it's not coming back far enough to pick up that second round and feed it. So this is an indication that we need more gas. Okay. So what we're going to do, remove the carrier again uh, from the uh, uh, action. We're going to open up the gas until we see that carrier locked back on our bolt face. Okay. that out again. So your turn increments, as you start seeing that, you want to go about a half turn, okay? So your turn increments are just no more than a half turn here. So with this in here, you'll, you'll be able to tell if it's half turn or whole turn just based simply on what you're seeing here, okay? So now we're Dial back up. Going hot. Okay. I see that my uh, rifle cycled. I'm going to shoot one more time. Perfect. So that is now a well cycling uh, rifle. It probably won't be this easy for you the first time you do it. It might take you a good five or ten minutes, but take your time and do it. Once it's done, you can basically set it and, and forget it, uh, so to speak. But that is your adjustable carrier uh, on, your, on your Falcor rifle. Thanks again for your support.